Well, the great blue herons have finally uh, got some activity by their nest. Got this one preening up here. And by about noon, they'll be all out of here. They just uh, started their cycle now. The snow kind of put them on a little delay this month. Usually they would have been in the nest uh, working on it for about a week and a half. But here's one of them. And this is the first day I've seen them here. Just a preening up, showing off, and there's uh, several nests in this grove right behind the Animal Adoption Center, Kent, Washington. And right down by the KOA campground. And this rookery is right behind Spicer's paper. So, anyway, we'll watch this one here. It's preening it up. We've got another one in the tree here. But there's several of them around the nest now, and we'll get more as time goes on. There's a few there. I'll back off. You can start seeing some of the nest in here. It's quite the rookery. There are all these nests to be full of herons here in another week or so. So we're excited about it. Came down today and it's been coming every day and geez, wow, what's going on? Usually Groundhog Day, they're in there when the weather's good. But we had that big snowstorm, so like I said, it kind of delayed everything. Back on this guy here again. And there he is. Getting that early morning sunshine, getting his feathers all cleaned up. So we'll be keeping an eye on him. We'll come back around noon or so and check them out. But our lighting's good now and getting a good view of this guy getting all squared away. But that's how we mark our nesting cycle. Usually by Groundhog's Day is usually when these guys start. So, But of course it's all on the weather. And this year we had the weather. <laughs> I had 18 inches of snow at my place three days ago. So it's thawing out now. And birds are all excited about it, starting to warm up so we'll call that good and we'll go see what else is in there it looks like another one's going to sail in here yep another one flew into the grove here i gotta check it out the nest and this one they're paired up a little bit all right then we'll go down by our eagle nest see what's going on down there oh that lighting's coming in good now look at that Okay, so if you want to view the, the great blue herons, you come down to Kent, and they're right behind the Animal Adoption Center. And down there on the 212th, and it's right behind the, the KOA campground and the, the Animal Adoption Center. All right then, enjoy.